Well, it's almost time for heading back to school and students at one central Alabama high school are starting the new academic year virtually while work on their new school building wraps up. WVTM 13 Strip Scarborough is live at the new Fultondale High School where construction crews are still working on the finishing touches and Chip, this was not the schedule administrators had in mind. No, it sure wasn't, Gladys. Superintendent Dr. Walter Gonslin says the hope was to have the new school ready in time for the first day this coming Tuesday, but he says it's going to take just a tad longer. Dr. Gonslin says the new building was inspected this past Thursday and all the major items on the list passed. He says there are still a few minor things to finish, resulting in e-learning for the first four days of school. Dr. Gonslin says this made the most sense so staff could focus on getting the new school ready instead of holding classes in the temporary school. School. The old Fultondale High School, as you may remember, was destroyed by a tornado two and a half years ago, and some have questioned why the project has taken so long. Well, let, let me say this. For a typical school to be built, a high school, it takes between um, about two and a half years. And, and so we are nearing that mark of two and a half years. So I don't know if it took longer than it's supposed to take. Um, but it, it might seem that to others. And Dr. Gonsolin wants to stress the e-learning days only apply to the new Fultondale High School. Everybody else in Jefferson County starts in person this coming Tuesday, August the 8th. Live in Fultondale in northern Jefferson County, Chip Scarborough, WVTM 13.